Alrighty, what's poppin'? In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing you guys how to basically remove lag or decrease it while you're playing Zelda Tears of the Kingdom on the Yuzu emulator. Now, these are basically simple tips that I use to basically um, decrease lag when you're playing games on the Yuzu emulator. As you know, this is a, still to this day, this is an experimental um, emulator. So not every game works on the Yuzu emulator currently. I think that most people know that, but when you play certain games, they don't run to the best compatibility, especially if you have a PC that's less strong. So these are the tips that I use and methods that I use to basically decrease lag while I'm on a user emulator. So first, first, first things first, we'll go to emulation, go to configure, go to graphics. Now. The API, it varies. Some people have um, better experience playing Vulcan on a less powerful PC, but the settings has to be really specific and it depends on the type of PC you have. But um, universally, um, if you have a video graphics card using um, OpenGL for the API is generally the safer option. And then next for V-Sync mode, off is usually good. And then the resolution, uh, anything below 2X is usually good, but the, de the default 2X resolution, it's, it's pretty good. Advanced, normal, it's, it's pretty good. Uh, that's pretty much it for that section. CPU, leave it on auto. General, we don't really mess with anything here. Just leave it at 100%. And also, another thing I like to do is I left click, go to the NVIDIA control panel. Wait for that to load up. Adjust image with preview. And then use my preference. I put all the way down to performance instead of quality. I apply it. And then the third settings, obviously I use my graphics card. And then the manage 3D settings. Uh, right here, I put the high performance in the video processor. And then these are the settings I use. You can pause the video to see what settings I have. And you basically copy it. And after that, we apply that. And then you go to program settings. And right here, you obviously um, add the user emulator. So how you do that, it's press add. Go to user, add it to select the program. And then you can basically copy all the settings I have right here. Pause the video if you need to. High performance of video processor. And then you basically apply like I did before and you're all set to go and then you close that out and then another thing you can do is using the 60 fps mod or 30 fps mod to get basically stable frame rates you guys can use that I'll leave in the description down below to the 60 fps mod and 30 fps mod to get you um, stable frame rates and make sure you always have your settings on docked I believe um if you change the settings on OpenGL to Vulkan, oh, I guess wrong doesn't do it. I guess orange means it's pretty high, so it's pretty aggressive for your graphics card. So like say for example, I change OpenGL to Vulkan right here. I guess these are aggressive settings and I may experience some lag. So another way you can decrease it is putting GPU normal and put it in OpenGL, like I said earlier. So that's pretty much it. Those are the tips you can use to basically reduce the lag or completely remove it while you're playing The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom on the user emulator. So yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to like, share, and also subscribe guys into the channel. And yeah, guys, this is your boy Birdsona. See you guys in the next video. Peace out.